Hey what's going on guys? How are you doing today? What I have for you today in this video is I'm going to give you a recap of the Samsung's Unpacked event today. And at this event their main focus was on a new smartphone that they have announced. It is the Galaxy Note 8. So the most anticipated and the most hyped phone out there or at least one of the most or one of the most hyped has been officially been announced by Samsung. Um, excuse me if you see me looking this way because I have my notes uh, pulled up uh, that I took during the event. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, first things first, you know Samsung mentioned the Note 7 again with all the issues that it had in the past. And Samsung appreciated everyone's support regarding the Note 7. And people still have faith in Samsung. Uh, other than that, people were disappointed to see the Note 7 go. But they understand that... It was a very good smartphone and Samsung had to backtrack to figure out what was the issue and a lot of people were so excited for the Note 8. So without further ado, let's get started to see what they had to say. So first things first is the screen. It features a 6.3 inch Quad HD Plus display with a resolution of 2960 by 1440 at 522 pixels per inch and it features the infinity display that is was present in the Galaxy S8 Plus with a cinematic display as well. And then of course, you know, they have this thing called App Pair, which was like a faster way to multitask between your apps. Um, the processor, it features a 10 nanometer octa-core processor, which was like 2.5, uh, 2.35 gigahertz and 1.9 gigahertz quad. It has six gigs of RAM, and apparently you have three storage options, uh, 64, 128, 256, and micro SD card expansion can go up to 256 gigabytes, as well as the operating system that it's going to become preloaded is Android 7.0.1. The camera, it's going to feature a 12 megapixel rear facing camera and an 8 megapixel front facing camera but not just one camera in the back but two one of the cameras has this thing called the the wide lens and another camera has this thing called the telephone lens all right so basically there was two cameras in the back one of the lens being the wide lens is for a bigger scenery in the picture or video and the telephone lens was for two times optical zoom and not only that, but both of these cameras have optical image stabilization. So they did a test in the event, uh, which of course all manufacturers did this, where they compared it to an iPhone 7 um, Plus's camera, and um, you know, the Galaxy Note 8 smoked it. But then again, what happens when the iPhone 8 comes out? But that's a different video. And they also integrated a feature called Live Focus. Basically, you can decide which part of the picture you want blurred out and which one that you want the main focus on and of course they did an example in the uh, event itself so it's one of those standalone features that you would find in video editing software was like if you want one part of the picture uh, blurred out in the background but you want the main focus on just that one particular object or person that that's one of those features right here and then of course it has the quick launch feature so that way you can access the camera a lot faster by just doing it from your lock screen um, not only that the phone is water resistant so that way you are pretty much free to take pictures with your phone and take video wherever you wish uh, to be at. Although water resistant is different from waterproof, uh, just remember that. So there's probably like a certain amount uh, of distance that you can go up to with the water resistance. Now let's talk about the S Pen. So it's got a much finer tip with better sensitivity. So this is like the biggest thing with the Galaxy Note lineup is the S Pen. People just love the stylus of this that comes preloaded with this phone and you know they demonstrated it I mean large it features a larger canvas um, you, it lets you be more creative with your messages so like you can draw out symbols pictures and stuff live message for self-expression that's what they say and plus you know you can animate what you draw so basically they integrated some neat features that you can uh, use with the S Pen and take advantage of it is not like with the my Note 4 for example like I would say the stylus uh, I mean the S Pen on that is pretty basic but you do have a button right uh, on the S Pen itself to activate the menu for the S Pen. Not only that but it also helps out when it comes to translation so you can use the S Pen to translate sentences, currencies, or 
units of measurement. So pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, the S Pen, I probably wouldn't use it as much, but it is a good idea to have that kind of feature within the S Pen itself. Uh, because like if they were to integrate this with um, the touch of your finger, I mean, it's good, but you can also run into problems with it because sometimes you touch certain things on the phone. And next, you know, another application opens up, but that's a whole different story. Bixby, so Samsung has not done away with Bixby. Some people were pretty disappointed uh, to hear about the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus featured a Bixby button and was dedicated for Bixby. Some people try to change it. Um, they were able to, but then due to a recent update, they can't change it anymore. I haven't seen Samsung mention anything about how Bixby is accessed on the Note 8. Hopefully that button was done away with it, but I'm pretty sure uh, I'll get future confirmation on that. And then of course they announced this thing called Dex, which is basically where like you just dock your phone and then you use it as if it was like your computer almost. Because you can put your screen out on an external monitor and they had a demonstration with a keyboard and a mouse. So it was like a full blown desktop and then they bragged about <laughs> how this person uh, in the event doesn't even carry a laptop with them. All they carry is their Note 8 and then they just dock it, put it in their uh, monitor and that's about it. So other than that, that's all I have for the Note 8 recap today. Uh, I mean, the thing looks sick and I'm very excited about that. I So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also check out the description below for my social media links, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.